Finally, in conclusion, you know, I like to talk spirituality on this show as often as I can. And, uh, you know, one of the things that happened this week regarding, you know, Christianity, which was fairly interesting, involved Donald Trump. Won't play you the clip. But in essence, Donald Trump was being interviewed on a radio program, and the interviewer asked the question, what are some of your favorite Bible verses? I mean, of course, this was a gotcha question. They've been trying to get Trump on the Bible now for some time, ever since his, uh, you know, two Corinthians instead of second Corinthians that he said at uh, Liberty University. Or was it Liberty? Or yeah, I believe it was Liberty. Well, anyway, he stepped right in and answered uh, just the way that his critics had hoped he would answer. And he said that one of his favorite verses would be an eye for an eye. And he said it's kind of tough and kind of, you know, brutal. But, uh, you know, I think that's a very important scripture today. What was so interesting about that was that immediately the pharisaical right and those who were just trying to trap Donald Trump immediately come out and said, oh, (laughs) Donald Trump obviously doesn't know the New Testament. That's Old Testament language. Eye for an eye. Jesus did away with that. Everybody knows that Christians don't believe in eye for an eye anymore. So the punchline was supposed to be Donald Trump saying eye for an eye is his favorite Bible verse. And then the correction was supposed to be the, you know, the super spiritual Christians coming out and the crew supporters saying, oh, look, Donald Trump obviously doesn't know his Bible. Uh, Clearly, the eye for an eye concept is in the Old Testament. That's not a New Testament concept. Everybody knows that modern day Christians don't support eye for an eye. And you see, to me, that was the punchline. The punchline that Christians today in America would in any way, shape or form believe themselves not to absolutely positively adore the eye for an eye concept as found in the Old Testament. That's the punchline to me. I mean, you actually have Christians today who are very pro-war. If you take a look at the CIA torture report, remember the Senate CIA torture report that came out many uh, months ago, and it was detailing all of this terrible stuff that was going on, you know, in secret bases and CIA secret bases and all of this torture. You know who the number one supporter of that was? Do you know who the number, whenever polled on the man on the street polls, who supports torturing our enemies? Who was the number one supporter by demographic and by subcultural group? Ding, ding, ding. If you said Christians, you're right. Evangelical Christians by far support torture and almost any form of war that you can come up with, right? So the idea that somehow American Christians have suddenly adopted Jesus's view on turning the other cheek and not exacting an eye for an eye has to be probably one of the most funny things that I have heard all month long. I mean, there really is. So Donald Trump, and and really got to say this, I think Donald Trump really fully comprehends American Christianity. He gets it. You know, when he says two Corinthians, and all the Christians jump up and say, oh, it's, you know, it's not two Corinthians, it's second Corinthians. What do they constantly say? They constantly say, nobody reads the Bible. Nobody knows the Bible. And so when Trump references the Bible, they say, oh, well, he said it wrong. He said it wrong. See, he doesn't read the Bible. Well, the majority of people don't read the Bible today, right? And so what's so ironic is that the moral guardians today uh, who represent themselves and hold themselves out as the, you know, the church people today, and they do not support Trump because he believes in an eye for an eye, and no Christian who respects themselves and understands the Bible would ever be for an eye for an eye. They betray themselves and the fact that anytime you say, hey, who wants to go to war? They immediately raise their hand, right? Uh, Who wants to turn the other cheek to their enemies? Uh, Nobody's raising their hand on that one. In fact, that American Christian leaders would bring up Jesus and bring up his words is just really something. Because if you're going to bring up Jesus, you have to realize that his message was one of mercy. It was one of forgiveness. It was one of compassion. And it collides completely with giving your full support to torturing your enemies. In fact, Jesus said, and he told and commanded his followers to love your enemies, to turn the other cheek, to pray for those who persecute you. But does anybody really think the American church is listening to those words? I mean, really? Just like the Pharisees of Jesus' day who despised and ridiculed his message as being politically weak and impractical, so too the modern Pharisees despise, disregard, and ignore the words of Jesus. To justify their reasoning for dropping bombs all over God's mission fields, which are ripe for harvest, they usually cherry-pick a few Old Testament verses that point to ancient Israel. 
And by that, they claim allowance to torture the very people that Jesus told them to love, bless, and pray for. It's one of the reasons why I've always said that America is not a Christian nation. And people say, well, that, that's not true. Well, what does Christian mean? Christian means Christ-like, a Christ-like nation. Would you describe America in any of its time as being a Christ-like nation, one who does not want to torture his enemies, one who does always turn the other cheek, one who does always show mercy, forgiveness, and love to the enemy? A lot of people are really uh, thinking that God is going to judge America and they often point to the sins of this nation with a special focus upon the homosexuals who just compose about 1.6% of America's population. But I'm more worried about the 62% of evangelicals who openly support torturing their enemies in Jesus' name. The Bible is clear that God's judgment will start in his own house. So Pharisees, beware. So in this case, we have to give the points to Donald Trump. Uh, does American Christianity believe an eye for an eye? You betcha. And Donald Trump knows the American church much better than the media does. And that's just something to think about. Remember, friends, when you want the truth about the global economy, just follow the money. Have a safe and prosperous week, and we'll see you right back here next Wednesday. Until then, God bless.